Hey guys, good morning. Chris from Nichols Retirement Empire. Today we have a few little projects here. We are cooking a chuck roast on the green egg. It is delicious. Uh, if you watched last night, we did um, pass to the next round of uh, Family Food Fight, so we're continuing in that. If you guys haven't got a chance to watch that, make sure you watch that. It's fun. Um, and uh, Tammy will have more stuff about that on her on her channel. But uh, let's do a little, um, while the clouds are out a little bit, let's try to do a little walk around in the yard and look at the garden and see what's going on there. This is my favorite plant in the yard, I believe. It is my big light purple crepe myrtle that we have out front. It is just a wonderful, I just love this plant. This is so pretty. Um, when it blooms out, it always blooms out before my other crepe myrtles um, because I guess, you know, their bigger ones bloom out first, apparently, for some reason. But it looks great. It is in full bloom right out here in my front yard. It's pretty much the showpiece right now. Love it. And we have finally started getting a little rain uh on and off here and i was planning on going down to the beach uh at the trailer and to do some fishing with my dad this week but there's a big tropical storm turning turning into a hurricane down there so even though it's nowhere near pensacola they're going to get a lot of rain it's going to ruin the fishing so uh let's walk around back and i'll show you a couple of things back there Okay, I'm in the garden, and there's the okra. Uh, the bigger ones are kind of making it. They are growing some. One, two, three, four, five. Looks like I'll have six that may make, and that might be enough okra to do something with. I got a few smaller ones out here that, I don't know. I don't know if they're gonna live or not. It's just so aggravating. Um, anyway. But my tomatoes, my, my squash is played out here. It's done. Um, we got a few squash off of it. Did, did okay. My tomatoes are looking good. A lot of tomatoes. I had to stake them back up. Now, all you people that made fun of my cages, um, I'm here to tell you, you were correct. <laughs> I just didn't want to check. You know, I'm not going to make a bunch of big cages. I'm moving next year. So I just wanted to use the ones I had. Plus, this is the first year I have put my tomatoes in the ground in a long time. And this is by far the best my tomatoes have ever done. I mean, they are really growing. I got a whole bunch of them coming in. So I had to kind of reinforce these cages and hope my plants don't die because they're too crowded or falling over or whatever. But right now they're standing and producing really well. So they look great. And I got some nice big tomatoes here that are coming in I'm getting ready to get those some of these off the vine but just look at all the tomatoes there very happy with those I got me a nice big bell pepper down here I'm gonna get it today um, looking good overall and uh, of course my basil and all that stuff's doing fine my little cucumbers continue to grow these are pickling cucumbers so they don't really get that big I just pick them uh, and I'm starting to get some cantaloupe finally over here oh here we go one uh, one two three I got four going right now hopefully I'll get more than that and we got a bunch of cantaloupe from Tammy's dad when we were up there the other day got some peppers coming in on these one there and huh, look at this one right here that's pretty my rose of sharon back here in the back is blooming it always blooms after the one in the front because it gets less sun uh but boy you can see these are some pretty pretty blooms on this it's a beautiful plant the rose of sharon everybody in the south ought to have in their yard a rose of sharon beautiful 
and they get big. That's beautiful. So, not a lot going on, but I thought I'd show you what I had. Um, oh, and my millet up here that you guys correctly identified is also been identified by some cardinals around here. I'm going to show you. I got a little clip of a cardinal out here getting my millet. So it's exactly what Bruce City Gardener said. It's bird feed. Uh, these jokers are dying to get to this. So I got a little clip of that. I'll throw that in here at the end. Uh, you guys have a good day. Nichols Retirement Empire Garden Update.